Legend of Blue Eyes is the first set ever released for the Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG. It contains iconic monsters such as Blue Eyes White Dragon, Dark Magician, Red Eyes Bee Dragon, and Exodia the Forbidden One. This set was recently reprinted for Yu-Gi-Oh!'s 25th anniversary so everyone could enjoy the nostalgia of opening cards from 2002. But did you know that Konami has reprinted LOB before? Legend of Blue Eyes actually has at least 9 different prints over the years. In today's video, I will be taking you through the history of these printings, the differences, and of course, opening them. What's up guys, we are back with an epic old school Legend of Blue Eyes only opening today. As you guys saw in the intro, we have all the versions basically from the original 2002 first edition Legend of Blue Eyes all the way to 2023, which is, you know, the 25th anniversary that we just got recently. There's a few like weird niche versions I'm going to mention along the way that are not in these seven packs right here, but there are a lot of prints of Legend of Blue Eyes and there are really small differences that are really hard to tell. Like if you are not an expert, which a lot of these I didn't even know about going into this video, but a friend of mine, Gezi TCG on Instagram is an insane person and he knows all these differences because he studies all this stuff. So he gave us a lot of good info. There'll be some pictures popping up from his Instagram that is really helpful here as we go through these different sets and uh, different years that LOB was released. But before we get into the depths, we're going to be doing a giveaway. I'll be giving away this Legend of Blue Eyes 25th anniversary polymerization. Then we have a Curse of Dragon. This is an original print. I could be 2002 or 2003, hard to tell on those. Then a Guy the Dragon Champion Secret Rare. Guess where this one is from, guys? If you don't know, 2010 had these line, it's very like sharp line secret rares. It's a little bit different than the 2017, which is Trihorn Dragon, which will also be given away. So cool to see those those are all in the giveaway four different prints of lob it makes perfect sense for this video just like the video be subscribed turn on notifications let me know down below which of these prints did you not know about because i'm sure there's some of them that you've never heard of and uh that that's good enough because i was gonna say which is your favorite but obviously first ed's gonna win that every time this video is sponsored by HelloFresh. Make mealtime easy with HelloFresh. No decisions, line, or hassle. Just great tasting meals that you can enjoy in your own home. HelloFresh is much cheaper than eating out, and even grocery shopping with all of its issues is still more expensive than staying at home with HelloFresh. You also get 40 weekly recipes that match all occasions and preferences. To try HelloFresh, just click the link down below to get $51 off and free shipping. So try HelloFresh today. Thanks again to HelloFresh for sponsoring this video. All right, so the first print that we have is of course the 25th anniversary i'm going to be opening up a couple of these 25th anniversaries because i have one of everything else and then we have two you know multiple 25th anniversaries and because you know we don't want it to be a seven pack opening it is an educational video but it's also a fun video because we get to open these packs so i'm pretty excited to do both we have a karama we have an electro whip we're just going to do a quick opening 25th anniversary you guys know when it came out it came out this year very recently you can still uh you know buy these cards they're available online we have a furious sea king very cool and they are even coming out with the booster boxes of these you know in july so we have pre-orders uh down below if you guys want to check it out there are some available sassy out you can use my code you guys want to get a little discount on those so these are still upcoming so this is a new lob print we've got many many to go through from the past but let's see if we can pull something crazy oh we can a red eyes black dragon all right great start to this video red eyes black dragon ultra rare hopefully that is a sign oh how about we just pull seven red eyes black dragons all different versions that would be pretty cool for science just to compare them all right next to each other probably not gonna happen but i'd be okay with it okay so let's open our uh, actual 25th anniversary i had set aside for this video we're gonna open that then we're gonna move on to 2017 uh lob so yeah we go back about six years to the next lob print 2017 the game board was reprinted we have dark gray here we go we have violet crystal Skull Red Bird, we're going to be going backwards because that just makes sense. Yami, we have Mystical Sheep number two. Rude Water, we have Vile Germs. Can we get another foil? We have Final Flame and the Beaver Warrior. Will we see multiple Beaver Warriors in this opening? I'm guessing yes. Something we'll be doing in this video is comparing like the packs because there's a lot of different variations and stuff. So next up is 2017. So let's just compare these to a 25th anniversary reprint. So as you can see, obviously there's a big difference here. Uh, the English edition, the Konami logo are the same. So they look very similar in that regard. This one's a little bit lighter, you can tell, but not too much different. This says six plus years on it. This one does not say six plus years. 
this is the kind of stuff we're going to be looking at to tell the difference between these cards but with this one it's really easy with the 25th anniversary it kind of makes everything easier but otherwise they're very very similar this is the latest reprint since then this is uh one that they put in the game board from the legendary collection this will pop up on the screen if you guys have not seen that i'm sure you have it's been available at walmart's a lot uh target stuff like that this is the one that we were opening for a long time as the newest reprint and then they got the 25th anniversary so let's open it up legend of blue eyes white dragon i will still be keeping this wrapper as we go so we can compare it to other things but 2017 here we, and i actually forgot to mention about this one i'll get back to it one two three I think you do four. This is actually one of three of the Game Board Edition. So, Yurabi, this is the only one we have of the three, but I will show the other two after we're done with this. We have Yurabi, we have Forest. Let's see if we can pull anything. And Warrior Numero Dos, Man with Graveyard, Steel Ogre Grotto, Numero Uno, Legendary Sword. We have M Warrior, Numero Uno, Hainane, and will we get a foil? Ooh, a Mystical Elf, very nice, a super rare. You love to see it, Mystical Elf. We are now, not two for two, because we, you know, we got one out of 25th anniversary and one out of 2017, so that's cool. This is, I was calling this 2017, I should probably mention, this is technically 2014. You can see this here. There is a date down here that says copyright 2014. So Legendary Collection Game Board actually released in 2013. So there's a 2013 print. There is no copyright date. I just learned this today, right before this video, Gezi was talking to me, there's no date. So instead of saying 2014, it would not be there at all. We just have the Kazuki Takahashi at 1996. Then there's a 2014 print, which is this one. Then there's a 2017 print. So the difference there would be, it would be at 2017. So I'm going to have those popping up on the screen from his Instagram. So you guys can see the differences. He has all three photos. So we'll just show them all side by side. So I only had this one because it's actually really annoying to find these differences because nobody even knows they exist. I didn't know they existed till today. So I just got the one because they, the cards all look basically the same in 2013 to 2017. The only difference difference is that copyright date at the bottom. Two of them have it and one of them doesn't. And then if we want to compare the cards here, there's obviously a huge difference because on the 25th anniversary, we changed to the new style and these have the older style. So there is a pretty big difference between these sets of cards. And as we go through every other one, I'll probably open a 25th anniversary just for a little bit more opening. I know you guys love opening. Hopefully this is interesting to you. If you guys like this kind of video, we can go through more variations of different packs. Like we could do Metal Raiders, stuff like that. Cause there's a lot of different variations there. They'll probably be pretty similar, but it would still be fun to open all the versions, see the differences in the cards and the foils. We have Tyone, we have Laser Cannon Armor, there's a Fusionist. I think we got something because there's two cards left. Oh wait, no we didn't. There was only one card. I just couldn't tell. All right, so nothing crazy there. So in 2010, there was the Binder Edition of Legendary Collection, the original Legendary Collection, which I happen to have right here because I bought this entire thing just to get the 2010 version. I would have done this for the 2013 and 2017. I did buy 2017, but I was like, if I can't get the 13, why worry about the 17? Uh, it's not here yet, but I did buy this because I know for a fact the 2010 is inside. So you get it like this. I'll show you guys like this. And I pulled out the LOB pack so we could have it. By the way, that was 200 bucks. So it was not cheap. 200 bucks for this pack. So uh, yeah, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more content. Uh, yeah, it was expensive. So here, you, there's a pretty big difference here. So if I compare this to the 2014 pack that we have right here, you guys can see that the Konami logos are different. So we have red banner logo. We have the new one with just kind of the name outlined in white. And then uh, it's a little bit different. There's, it, you see how kind of how the, the pack is a little bit more it's it's like it got the air sucked out of it you know what i mean uh, and it feels like this is like this every time with 2010 packs there's a difference there it's a little bit skinnier if you guys can notice um yeah, you guys remember the fat pack joke but a little bit skinnier on that one uh the legend of blue eyes has different outlining i mean it just looks slightly different in a lot of different ways and as you see there's no copyright date at the bottom here this is what a 2013 pack would look like except for it would have like all these different things like this logo and everything like that so it would be like a mixture of these two so this one uh is this one's always a little tricky because the cards actually look a little bit different in 2010. So let's open it up and see if we can get a foil and actually pull something. Because as you saw in the Gaia that I gave away, a little bit different on the Secret Rare and stuff like that. So even the regular foils look slightly different as well. All right, let's open this thing up, guys. We are getting closer and closer to those originals. I'm pretty excited. So 2010, here we go. I think it's probably still going to be three, four, swap these two, maybe. Let's try that. We have Witty Phantom. Very cool. Wasteland. Army, I'll see, as you, if you look at these commons though, they look very similar. If I can pull out the 2014 in a minute. We have Dark Gray, Beast Fangs. It's really the foils where you might be able to tell the difference. Spike Seedra, Trial of a Nightmare. Let's see if we can just get one real quick. Dragonus, the Wicked Knight, and oh, a Curse of Dragon. No way, another foil. We're getting really lucky with these. All right, let's see if we can tell the difference here. Yeah, so look at these, okay. So if you look at this mystical elf, this card is a little bit lighter in general, just kind of like, 
a lot more just light and then this one has a little bit darker it's not quite as dark as the old ones but it is slightly different we do have an original curse of dragon we gave away let's pull that out all right so here is the original versus the 2010 reprint as you can see nostalgic condition on this one but very cool original print then you compare it to this it's not nearly as dark as you can tell but then if you compare the mystical elf look how much lighter this one is even than the curse of dragon so if you put them all side by side i can't really hold all of them i guess i can do this you can tell there is like a slight change so really dark kind of in the middle and then really really bright right here so a little bit of a difference not a huge difference between these cards but there is a slight variation that you can tell all right let's open up a 25th anniversary just for a little bit of extra fun in this video i hope you guys are enjoying this lob only video it's pretty cool to open all lob packs lesser dragon see if we can get a blue eyes white dragon out of one of these packs preferably an older pack that'd be great shaw of nightmare dark world thorn silver bow and arrow petite angel we have metal dragon and the 13th grave okay nothing too crazy there we are on to the 2005 forbidden legacy there's also a 2004 master collection version these according to gezi are exactly the same so i did go ahead and buy a forbidden legacy as you guys can see here uh, i bought this for 160 dollars on ebay shout out the guy on ebay who said he was a fan so thank you very much he gave me a little bit of a discount because of that uh, i pulled this out of there we have a couple other packs but this is where you get these these come out in 2005 master collection a year before but they're the same pack so no difference and these are the en packs apparently these can come in booster boxes as well but i think they're all the same pack so these have the en abbreviation at the bottom kind of like the 25th anniversary except for these are from 2004 2005 so a lot older in terms of these packs let's just go ahead and open this thing legend blue eyes that's all we have to really mention for this 2004 2005 pack this was the only way to get en lob for a while from the master collection and forbidden legacy but then they made them en in the 25th anniversary which was a really big deal because en you know you can tell the difference between the old and the new we have metabat i think they changed it you see as you see lob dash en right there sandstone we have lesser dragon a minor minor dragon is that say minor dragon minor dragon incapable of breathing fire i thought it said mirror at first and i was like wait what man eater very cool remove trap can we get a foil out of this one en would be pretty cool seal grotto numero uno we got monster egg very nice oh and a flame swordsman all right so it was four from the back how lucky are we getting with these foils right now flame swordsman en super rare from 2005 that is pretty cool 17 years old straight out of the forbidden legacy pack very cool to see like this is awesome because it's helping us compare you know the variations pretty nice that we're pulling foils out of here and uh these cards are like actual like old cards they look a lot because they're, they're upper deck and everything like that compared to the 2010 they're going to be a lot different let's see if i can pull them out just in general you can tell like these are a little bit darker more of the old school versus this a little bit brighter this is 2010 that i'm comparing it to all right that is really cool and i didn't do any sort of weighing or anything obviously you saw that i opened this straight out of the blister so that's really really cool we're down to three and the third to last one which is the uh 2003 10 pack actually has some weird variations that i didn't know about either legend of blue eyes let's open one more pack before we get into the 2003 pack one two three Let's see if we can get an LOB at Blue Eyes. We have Lesser Dragon. We have Beaver Warrior, Man Eater, Larvis. I feel like we've seen those cards a lot. Two Mouth Dark Ruler, Mystic, Mystical Moon, Mystic Moon is what I was going to say. M Warrior Numero Uno, Hain Hain, and a Raigeki, one of my favorite cards. Raigeki, super rare. That is really, really cool. This was so OP back in the day. So the next one is 2003. So in here, we have a 2003 Red Banner logo from like PAX, and then we have 2003 red banner logo from 10 so there's two different ones i'm not exactly sure how to tell the difference between those two i think they're very similar but there is a way to tell a difference between if these have spell or magic cards inside so if you guys remember the spell and magic thing back in the day we had magic cards in the first year and a half basically of Yu-Gi-Oh's existence the magic gathering was like hey no thank you you can't say that about your cards because we're magic cards so inside of 2003 packs you can have either spell cards or magic cards and there is a way to tell i'm going to pop up the images on the screen but it basically has to do with how the text box aligns with like the copyright information and then on i think on the magic card you can see this part so this has magic cards inside we're going to find out if i'm right about this if you can see that first line i think that means that you have magic cards inside if it's covered up by the flap here that means you have spell cards inside i'm not sure if that's a full proof way but there's also like this text box saying that there's a, it's a little bit smaller on the spell card so we're just going to open this up if it has magic cards i guess that that could be a way that it works 
Let's see, 2003 Unlimited Red Banner logo. Here we go. How many of you guys did not know that there were this many prints of LOB? If you didn't, let me know in the comments um, because you know what? It's nothing to be ashamed of. There are a lot of cards. I'm gonna do, it's probably four, but I'm scared to do four. I'm gonna do this just in case. It's just in case it's three. We have Mystical Sheep Numero Dose. We have Tripwire Beast, Skull Redbird, Metabat. Okay, yeah, these are old school originals. This is shifted up a little bit. That happens sometimes on old packs. We have Sandstone, Lesser Dragon. We got a Minor Dragon, not a Mirror Dragon. We have Masaki, Legendary Swords, and we already got Flame Swords, and so it makes sense. We have a Sogan. Looks like the pack trick was right. And... Oh, Rageki! Back to back, and it is a magic card. I could have checked that on earlier cards, but I didn't. Okay, so it looks like we did have the magic card version. Very cool. So we pulled Magic Rageki and the 25th Rageki back to back. That is perfect and beautiful. Double streams. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. 2003 print. Raigeki, yes, this was my favorite card back in the day because, well, one of my favorite cards. I remember acquiring it the first time and I was like, I am unbeatable now. Then I got a second one and I was playing it even though it was probably illegal and it was awesome. I was just lightning bolting everything. It was so sick. I was like, this is literally the best card you could ever have in Yu-Gi-Oh. Okay, 25th anniversary pack. We got two more old school packs, 2002 and then a 2002 first edition. Let's see what we can get out of here. Cause last time it helped us summon a, you know, a card from 2003. Let's see if we can do it again. Skull Servant, Immortal Numero Uno, Two Pronged Attack, and the left leg of the Forbidden One. We'll take it. Exodia, Obliterate. We have pulled so many foils from LOB in this, just like out of the different packs. Like they're all different too. No repeats besides the Regeki. I didn't mention on the other one, but here are the differences between the 2004, 2003. So as you can see, there is a US and Canada English edition versus just the English edition. Then there's a little bit of a different look to them as well. There's probably a few slight variations in there as well, but I wanted to mention that before we move on. Then we'll compare these two. We have the 2003 10 print versus the 2002. So the real main difference obviously is the logo here. That's all you really need to know. US and Canada means 2003. So once you see those two different logos, you know this is from 2002, this one's from 2003, and then you check that and you know it's either from 2003 or 2004 or five. Also something to mention for 2002 original is there is hobby and retail. So there's a split between those two. I have a video discussing the differences between those two. Hobby basically in LOB means you can pull Trion Dragon. Retail means you can pull Guy the Dragon Champion. For LOB, that is the only difference. That is it. So I won't go too far into that. I will have that Hobby Retail video popping up. It's a little bit of an older video, but it still checks out for the most part. I think a couple things about striking the Yos is off, but here we go. Legend of Blue Eyes White Dragon. Let's open this thing up, an original 2002 print. By the way, this costs more than $3.99. I'm just gonna throw that out there. It costs more than that. It's an expensive video for only a few packs. You know what I'm saying? That's why I wanted to at least make it a really cool video. 2002, one, two. I know this is four. Can we get an LED blue eyes? We have Dissolve Rock, a monster born in the lava pits. It generates intense heat that can melt away its enemies. We have a wasteland. Magic card. Everything in 2002 is a magic card. Larvis. Basic insect. Very cool. Two mouth dark ruler. Hinotama. Very nice. Do 500 burn damage. Armored starfish. We have a Metabat, and do we have a foil? No, it's a Fissure, RIP, Fissure Magic card, but hey, really cool to see these original. There's another thing, one more thing I wanted to mention. I don't know if they're actual sealed packs. There has to be, I guess. There is glossy and wavy print of Unlimited. The problem is, I've never seen anyone actually open a pack that had a glossy or wavy. Oh, for a long time, people thought it was either glossy or wavy, so this was glossy, but this is not a glossy card. Glossy is actually really rare to find. So there's unlimited glossy, unlimited wavy that you can find in packs somewhere, but I don't exactly know how. So that's something that's kind of left up for grabs in this video. They're very, very rare, so maybe in the future I'll have some more information on that that we can bring to us, you know, a future video that can update you guys. And what Glossy and Wavy is, it's basically a cardstock thing. So it's not like a hobby retail thing or a first ad or anything like that. It's just basically how the cardstock looks and people really like the look of Glossy and Wavy cards. In first edition, you get Glossy or Wavy. I don't know the difference here. It's, it's really impossible to tell with a sealed pack, uh, you know, not like a booster box, if it's gonna be Glossy or Wavy first edition. So we're gonna open this up and find out later if it is Glossy or Wavy and then I can show you the card stock. Okay, let's open up another 25th anniversary. Then we'll get into a first ed LOB pack where we could pull a Blue Eyes White Dragon, which would be pretty sick. How about that? Let's do it, guys. I'd be, 
I'd be happy. I mean, to say the least, we have Firegrass. Here we go. We got Grotto, Numero Uno, Wasteland, King Fog, Beast Fangs. We got Mizurizame. Where's the Yame? Oh, the Curse of Dragon. Look at that. We got another Curse of Dragon. So we have three different Curse of Dragons. One was being given away, but we have a 2002 print or a 2010 print versus a 25th anniversary print. So you can see pretty big differences there because of the new print, but very cool to see all these variations in one video. All right, guys, the moment we've all been waiting for, first edition Legend of Blue Eyes. Obviously, it says first edition at the top that's really all you need to see for a first ed lov pack to know it's not unlimited or 2003 or anything like that if it said first ed you cannot reprint first ed a lot of people actually don't know that first ed is first ed there's no more prints of it when we do the reprints they are not first edition i've actually gotten that question hey are they going to be first ed no they are not so for everyone who's new to Yu Gi Oh, it's first ed it's 2002 only okay guys not a cheap pack that we're opening up here this is apparently unweighed so we're going to find out i guess i do wonder if it's glossy or wavy so we can take a look at these there doesn't seem to be a difference i've asked gazzy he said i don't know i don't think there's a difference and if he doesn't know if there's a difference there's probably not a difference here we go let's see if we can pull a foil any foil i'm happy with out of a loose pack you know i didn't weigh this or anything like those other packs that i got so if we pull a foil at all i'm gonna be ecstatic i don't expect to pull anything but you never know here we go we have electro whip these are glossy packs so let's compare this to 2002 after we're done we're not going to stop the opening right now but we'll compare it to 2002 we have an electro whip first edition magic card we have a king fog very nice i've never really had good luck with glossy so i'm hoping that we can turn around right here beaver warrior even when i pull stuff it's way off center petite dragon very cool all right that's a nice card M Warrior numero uno and it's got the lowered uh set thing that i think happens in all the first ads of this Mountain Magic Card, very beautiful. Looks amazing right there. We have a Legendary Sword, very nice. Nice equip card. We have a Dark King of the Abyss, and I think this is the final card right here. Will it be a foil out of Legend of Blue Eyes First Edition? Could it be the legendary $40,000 Blue Eyes White Dragon? Will it happen? I've never pulled it before. Here we go. No, a Cherubin the Fire Knight. No, Cherubin. All right, let's do a little experiment here. By the way, don't go away. I've got a little surprise for you guys after this. This is a non-glossy card. This is 2002 print, so it's old. You know, it's from 2002. Non-glossy. You can look in the light, look at how the texture goes of the card, then look at this one. See how much more like... Um, how many more grains there are, I guess is a good word for it. This is like very grainy on the texture versus this, not so much. That's a glossy card when it's super grainy like that. All right, guys, let's do one more first edition Legend of Blue Eyes pack. And the reason I want to do this, I was hoping that that pack would be glossy so I could open up a wavy pack and we could compare them side by side. So I know that this is wavy. These are some of the ones that I weighed out. This is one of the middle weights. So there is a chance there's no foil in this. It was kind of between being light and being heavy. Sometimes you can have foils in them, sometimes they can't. So we're going to open that up. But first, you know, for a little teaser, one more 25th anniversary. This has turned into a really fun LOB opening. I've really like enjoyed it and comparing them, you know, with each other. I'm really hoping we can get an LOB first at foil to end it, but probably not. Let's see if we can get a 25th anniversary foil right here to end it. We have Larvis. Let's get a blue eyes. King Fog, Turtle Tiger. We have Taihone. We have Giant Soldier of Stone and the Furious Sea King. Okay, that's fine. We're saving it for the first dead pack, right? Okay, so first comparisons. This was a glossy pack. So, I mean, this one's a little wider. I don't know if that's going to be consistent, but... The first ed seems a little bit darker here. I don't know if that's going to be consistent as well, but that first ed definitely looks darker than that first ed. Here's the glossy pack we just opened. But you never know, like just comparing one to one, because like there could be variants between wavy as well that are like the same as glossy. So you're not 100% sure, but just keep this as data for the future. Let's open this pack up. This is a very expensive opening, guys. This has gotten crazy. I have opened a lot of value in packs today, but it has been very fun. Here we go. Hopefully you will enjoy the video. Four from the back. We have removed traps, so as you can see, a little bit different, not as grainy there. We have a Steel Grotto. These aren't the most wavy packs ever. You know, there's some that are a lot more wavy, but uh, you know, we'll, we'll take what we can get. We have Monster Egg. Can we get the Blue Eyes White Dragon? That is the card I'm searching for. Numi Rico. We have Hinotama, first edition, very nice. Armored Starfish, looking good. We have a Meta Bat. Meta Knight, his friend the Bat. We have a sandstone. Is it the next card? I think it is. One more card. Will it be the Blue Eyes White Dragon? And our final card of this Legend of Blue Eyes opening. Here we go. We have... Oh, it's a rare. Stop the fins. So it is just a rare. Middleweight, unfortunately, it was not a foil. All right, we have here, we have the glossy versus the wavy. So it's a little bit harder to tell in the commons. I was hoping we'd get a foil. It'd be great, but... 
uh, as you can see, pretty pretty clear difference here. Like these are both first ed, but this is like very grainy and this is like more, it's got like lines to it. You guys see those like little lines in the in the, uh, in the cardstock? I was gonna say foil, there's no foil there, but slight differences there. Uh, if you get to the wavy foils, they can look a lot different. And there's a little bit of a variance to how different they are. But this was a fun video. If you guys enjoyed seeing all the different variations of Legend of Blue Eyes, let me know down below and make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic first edition openings in the future because we still have some more heavy packs that should definitely be heavy. Shout out to Tom Flow Show, Daxer, JT Cho, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Dienda, Miss Cycle, America Doyster, Supreme Sage 21, and Undertai Show, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, and Mimic Echo. Thank you guys for supporting the channel and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.